welcome back my dear students so today i am going to talk about the last topic of our main topic that is trapping and collection of animals the concerned topic i am discussing today is the collection of mammals how can we collect mammals let's see there are a lot of methods are employed for collecting mammals so let's move to know what are the methodologies usually employed for this purpose first one is called food baits what is mean by food baits we are directly providing food into the animal that we want to collect in the case of uh, carnivores we are providing this kind of food that is canned dog food or something uh, food which is uh, fond of that particular animal and in the case of herbivores we are providing vegetables or vegetarian food we are directly giving to the animal that we want to collect so by providing food materials we are collecting or we are trapping mammals that is called a food bites the second one is called a live bites live bite means here we are providing live organism to the animal that we want to collect for example you can see that here a fox is holding mice here we are providing a mice directly a live mice directly into the fox as we want to collect this fox so which animal that we want to collect we are providing the concerned live food for the for that particular animal that we want to collect that is called the live bites okay i hope you understood then third one is called curiosity bites what is mean by curiosity i hope you all know what is mean by curiosity or what is mean by curious so by means of the curious nature of a particular organism it will be respond to that particular animal for example here you can see that a wild cat has become so much curious to hear the fluttering of a bird's wing so you can say that this fluttering of bird's wing is a curious bait to what this cat this type of baits are called a curiosity a curiosity is arising to the animal the concerned animal that we want to collect by providing certain kind of mimic actions okay then scent scent means smell we are providing certain kinds of scents for attracting that particular animal for example we know that what is mean by pheromones what is mean by pheromones pheromones are those chemical substance that is very much important for communicating the all the members of a given species or so pheromones are species specific chemical substances right we know that what is mean by sex pheromones for attracting the similar species of uh, uh, male and female uh, we are uh, the sex pheromones are acting so what we are doing is that we are chemically synthesizing this pheromones and uh, the pheromones is then introduced before the animal that we want to collect so it will be attracted to that pheromone and in this manner we can collect the animal that is called the scent by providing scent or smell we are trapping the animal then comes snare snare is also it's a type of trap here you can see that uh, this is a loop of wire or rope this is a kind of a snare it is a loop of wire or rope that is pulled around the animal when it comes to when it comes through the swing here this is a metallic uh, loop of uh, wire here whenever a fox is passing through this uh, snare it will be trapped here okay so this is another method of trapping or collecting a mammal then box trap you may be familiar with this box trap for example mice in, in all uh, houses we are uh, quite keeping this particular uh, box trap right this is a wooden or metallic traps for collecting or for trapping or other like organisms okay then comes the drift traps what is meant by drift trap the drift trap is generally having a funnel shaped entrance over here and whenever an animal is passing through it it will it will enter through this funnel like the entrance and it will be trapped in this uh, trap or in this uh, snare that is called a drift traps okay 
then comes the use of trucks what we are those organs which are very large like elephants lions tiger lions then rhinos etc those organisms are generally collected or trapped by means of administrating these drugs what we are doing is that we are administrating drug into the animal by firing drug filled syringes with the help of a gun for example here it is clear that uh, usually the uh, elephants are generally um, trapped by means of administrating the gun okay so these are the common methods of collecting various type of mammals i hope you understood and if you have any doubt please ask questions thank you